A 19-year-old mother of two won't ever be coming home to her family, but the suspect in her shooting death will soon be out of jail and able to see his. We first told you about the dismissed manslaughter case against Jose Galindo on Friday. And tonight, the night team's Garrett Berger talks with Galindo's alleged victim's friends and family about the prospect of him going free. They're letting a murderer walk free, and it's not fair. Shock, hurt, and confusion running through Ana Martinez's friends and family. At least for now, the man they believe caused her death is not facing a charge for it. Not anymore. No, I couldn't believe, like, how can someone get away with manslaughter? Like Citing witnesses and forensic evidence, investigators think Martinez's boyfriend, Jose Galindo, was handling a gun when it went off last month at a southeast side apartment, hitting Martinez in the head. She later died at the hospital. Galindo, who police say took off from the scene, was arrested down in LaSalle County shortly after. But court records show the case was dismissed Friday for lack of probable cause. How is there not enough evidence to keep him in jail? If there is enough evidence to get the warrant out for his arrest, how is there not enough evidence to keep him where he belongs? Though the manslaughter charge was dismissed, Galindo has been in the jail as well for assault on a public servant. However, we found out earlier today that he has made bond in that case. All he needs now is a GPS monitor to get out, and that worries Martinez's friends and family. It's nothing to cut off a monitor and leave out of anywhere, and he'll be gone in no matter of time. Like They're planning to protest Monday morning outside at the Justice Center, determined not to let the case go quietly. I hope we they see that we're trying to get justice for her, and this is not a case they can just sweep under the rug. We're going to get justice, and we're going to get Jose convicted. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.